Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is Estimate and Measure Liquid Volume. Okay, so we're going to deal with metric um, units here, so don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com, and this is Lesson 10-7 in the textbook we're following, so uh, there's our common core strand, our essential question is, how can we estimate and measure liquid volume in metric units? Okay, so uh, uh, liquid volume is the amount of liquid that goes in a container, like, um, uh, like a glass or or maybe a soda bottle or a water bottle or, or something you know that you can fill up some liquid so uh, typically we're going to deal with water so uh, the liter which is uh, we'll, we'll use a capital L you guys is the basic metric unit for measuring liquid volume so we'll get into more of that later so just think of the size of a say like a teacup that you have tea in okay so something that looks like that right there okay so there's a teacup right there so if we poured two of these into here it would fill it up to right there and, and most of you guys probably have one of these your mom or dad has one of these in the cupboard or maybe your grandma does uh, inside their cupboard right there and it's typically uh, two cups right there okay so let me move that over right there so if we doubled this size it would give us four cups so here's so if we poured two of these into here it would fill this one up right here so if two of these fills this one up and then two of these fills this one up how many of these need to go into here well if you can read that it says four cups right there so four cups you guys is the same as or it's almost the same as about a liter in fact if you had one of these with four cups on it if you turned it around if you can see through that there's some writing on the back side it's this right here probably um, it says uh, how many uh, liters are in there okay so I don't know if you can see that backwards right there it says four cups right there well on the back side it says one liter so these containers are the same containers right here and four cups is about a liter in fact four cups is a little bit less than a liter it takes you a little bit takes you about 4.22 cups to equal one liter right there so but both these cups can hold that so think of a water bottle that you buy inside the grocery store or inside um, the gas station store or something you guys that, that's usually in the liter bottle right there and if you know sometimes they're smaller sometimes they're larger so let's think say your classroom's going to have a big party and you buy these things these are called two liters right here okay and if you guys like coke better well then here's a two liter coke bottle right here okay i'm not promoting soda you guys because soda has so much sugar in it in fact one of these bottles has about 56 sugar cubes in it from just how much sugar is in there that's a lot of sugar so i hope you guys aren't drinking too much of that it's um it's just not good for you i've got to admit i, I do like a cold soda every now and then but there's a lot of sugar in there so estimate how much liquid volume there will be when uh, each container is filled so all I want you to do is to write more than one liter or it's about one liter or less than one liter okay well okay this one is about one liter let's just use this as our guiding post right here this is about one liter can't you see that the, uh, that this is definitely smaller than this right here and this guy is definitely larger than this so what we're going to do is we're going to say this one is more than a liter okay that's what they want us to know this one is less than a liter and then this one's about one liter right there okay how about these guys right here a spoonful of water well that's definitely less than a liter how about if we fill a bathtub up halfway full well I can fit a lot of those liter bottles in there so that's going to be a lot more than a liter right there and then this little eyedropper is definitely less than a liter okay all right, so um, I used a picture to answer each, and each of these glasses are the same size. Okay, so which glass has the least amount of water out of all of these? Well, it looks like this one is glass uh, C has the smallest amount. Which glass has the most amount of water? Which one's filled up to the, the top? This one is glass B is right here. Okay, this one says place the glasses in order from the least to the greatest. So this one looks like it's the least, so I'll slide that one right here. This one looks like it's the next one, so it would go right here. So this one, uh, this one's the next one right here. And then finally, this guy is going to be the fullest one right there. Okay, so if we placed them in order, then we'd go C, A, D, B right there. Okay. All right, what else? So let's see. Beverly uh, filled the bathroom sink with water. About how much water does she put in? Does she put in about a liter? Okay, she fills the bathroom sinks. Think of the sink in your bathroom. Think about pouring that, that uh, water bottle in there. Would it fill up that sink? I don't think so. 
So if she fills up the sink, do you think she's going to have more than a liter in it, or much less than a liter, or a little bit, uh, a little less than a liter? Well, I think it's definitely more than a liter. She can probably, you know, put in five of those bottles in there. Okay. How about this? Sandra needed about one liter of water to fill a container. Which container did uh, Sandra most likely fill? So which one is most likely about a liter? How about a small glass? Okay, well, remember, remember that cup right there? That's like a small glass in the beginning of the lesson right there. That It's not this one, because this one's less than a liter. How about a spoon? No, that's less than a liter. How about a large bucket? Well, I can pour several of those water bottles in a large bucket, so it's definitely not that one. How about a vase to put flowers in? I think it would be this one right here, so it would be a vase right there. Okay, you guys? All right, that's all we're going to do on that. And if you guys can, uh, click like and take care.